some Italian hands. I don't have it in it. Action. You can, yeah? Uh, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. So last video was definitely not up to standard and this video is going to completely rectify that. Now for this video, we went to the Bathurst 12 hour and it was the GT3 class. It was an amazing race. However, I have to come clean. I knew nothing about it. There was one reason why I really wanted to go and that was because of Valentino Rossi. Some of you guys may know that I ride a motorbike and some of you should know that Valentino Rossi was a seven times world champion of the MotoGP. So to me, he's basically my God. And I finally actually got to meet him. I literally touched the man and he signed my camera. It was the best experience of my life and in this video, I'll show you how that even came to happen because honestly, it was such a fluke. I've got my Sigma 85mm. 1.4. What led up to this was us buying an exclusive pit lane access pass, which essentially normal GA gets to take photos and walk the pits on the back end. We got to go out on track and take photos of all the cars. Now there was a ticketing issue at the gate, so we were late to the pit lane access. They had already started without us and it only runs for 20 minutes. So when we got up to the pit lanes, we were on the back end of it and we were seeing people on the other side. And that got us thinking, how do we get to the other side of the pit lane? We found this random fire escape and literally just walked with confidence. If you walk like you have purpose, then you should be fine. And when we got to the other side, these guys just let us through. They saw us with our cameras and just let us take the photos. These are some mad photos. I'm glad I brought the 85. We're, we're literally just gonna be taking the same photo throughout this entire pit lane walk. We literally have access to the pit lane. How cool is that? Thank you, I appreciate it. We came a little bit late, we were trying to get through the gates. Good shots as we walk. We came, we conquered. <laughs> I have no idea if the shots were actually good, but that was so cool. Lamborghini. Ooh, secret Lamborghini. That's a secret. We haven't unlocked that car yet. <laughs> Let's go sneak this, this shot in. Where's the pasta? Italian engaged. We decided to camp out at Rossi's garage. We didn't really know when he was going to show up, but honestly, the timing was perfect because as soon as we were there, only a couple minutes later, he just rocked up. Now I wish I had the 105. I left it up at the top of the mountain. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> I love Sony. <laughs> that looks like an old one. Okay. Thank you so much. Oh, I can see everything. <laughs> Thank you. I actually got a really cool shot of that. Okay. I'm gonna get it to sign my camera. Hey, how much would a Sony A7R5 be worth if it's signed by Rossi? More than you can afford, kiddo. Oh my god, I can't stop smiling. <laughs> now, it was a surreal experience because I never have met such a high status celebrity before. And I didn't really know how I was gonna react. Now, you can hear Albert, he's basically got his heart racing in his chest. 
For me, my knees were literally weak. I, I could barely stand, I couldn't stop smiling. And when he finally got to us, I got to wish him a happy birthday and he got to sign my camera. Thank you, Rusty. Do you reckon? Uh, no. I sign? Yeah, no. if you can, yeah. Uh, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Maybe another color. Yeah, maybe another, another color? color? Black on black. black. One compliano. Can I have a photo? Yes. Ciao. <laughs> Thank you so much. I, uh, I, I can't use my camera now. It's been signed by Valentino Rossi. Oh <laughs> my God. Yeah. I couldn't have asked for a better day one. This has completely opened my mind to the world of motorsport, motorsport photography, and I absolutely plan on attending these events every single year. I'd love to travel and go overseas and even go to the F1, and I will take you guys with me. Now, to experience this and to meet my hero, freaking Rossi, and also have an exclusive pit lane access and to stand on the track where they do that sort of stuff was the best experience. I cannot believe that I was able to record all of that and I was able to show that all to you. Now, in my next video, I'm going to recap the entire weekend. I'll share my experience and what I've learned while doing motorsport photography and I definitely did learn a lot. So stay tuned, subscribe for that video, and I'll see you guys in the next one.